Yo, what are you, uh, what are you watching, bro? It's a life-changing motivational speech I'm trying to better myself. Okay, that's... All right, I'll bite. The moment you were born, the clock of light started ticking. We only have a few precious moments to do something worthwhile with our lives. And unfortunately, most people get lost along the way, only existing to make it to the next day. But that's not living. The next 15 minutes could change your life forever, forever. You forever, know what, I gotta hand it to forever, you, Nigel. I, I have been feeling a bit unmotivated as of late, and this is just what I needed. <laughs> Up top. Nice find, buddy. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Armadillo Sanctuary. My name is Leon Lush, and as always, I am so grateful that you would decide to spend just a few minutes here with me today. So this video is about a guy named Marcus Rothkrantz, who is, I guess, like this healthy lifestyle, vegan living, raw food, motivational speaker kind of type of personality on the internet, which is fine in and of itself. I'm sure he's got some good things. He looks healthy and, and he's got the beautiful blonde locks and, and, and the nice skin and everything. But I, this more specifically, this is about a piece of content that he made just a few years ago that's only now coming to my attention called Speech of a Lifetime, Passionate Words to Live By, by Marketh Rosskrantz. And <laughs> let me tell you, it is just a joy that I get to share this with you through lens to screen that we can have this moment together. Let's, let's take a peek. Now you saw the whole intro in the beginning, and can I just say, if I'm ever gonna make a motivational speech, I pray that I can be one-tenth as dramatic and over the top as Marcus Rothkrantz. I mean, the full orchestra, the fog machines, billowing smoke everywhere, the huge clock behind you stuck on midnight with the starry background as you come out and the spotlight turns on you. I am ready to have my life changed right now. The next 15 minutes could change your life forever. Go on. We marry the first person that seems close enough to what we want and try to close our eyes to the differences and hope they change, but they don't. The bills keep coming in, we stress more and more, and we feel caught in a trap. We seek comfort in comfort food, comfort friends, comfort chairs, alcohol, sugar, cigarettes, all kinds of distractions. It's like he's speaking directly to me. Comfort chairs. I also seek comfort in comfort chairs. When I find a chair, I want that shit to be comfortable. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I like food too, but more specifically, I seek comfort in my comfort chairs. We try to buy more and more things to try and make ourselves feel good, but it just weighs us down more and clutters our lives to where we can't even see out the window of our souls anymore. So in my lifetime, I'm definitely guilty of buying things to make myself feel better. It's part of the human condition, right? And the window to my soul was filthy. All right, but Marcus, it's 2019. <laughs> Little thing called Windex, it exists. Yeah, it just so happens my soul is located behind my butthole, and that window is squeaky clean. And at some point in our lives, our lover leaves us, we lose our job, our house, everything. And we think, will I be alone the rest of my life? No. You are never alone. Okay, as a self-proclaimed pseudo-audio engineer, I'm having trouble with the uh, Something's going on in this video with the audio. Like, he sounds too close, doesn't he? Like, I've seen a lot of performances in auditoriums that have been recorded. Stand-up shows, comedy shows, stuff like that. It just It's almost like he's lip-syncing something he voiced over up close to a condenser microphone like this and then just add a little bit of, like, stadium reverb on it. I don't... Let's pay attention. All we need is peace. So we start over. This time, we start to listen to something new. Ourselves. This time, we start to listen to something new. Ourselves. And that's where it all starts. Appreciation. We must first prove we know how to appreciate the little things first. No one is going to give you two coins if you don't appreciate one. The little flower growing through the cracks in the sidewalk. 
the way <laughs> someone's eyes glisten when you look straight into them. That's where the magic starts. And that's where life begins. The little orangutan hairs growing in the crack of Nigel's ass cheeks. I know what it's like to see people deeply in love and wonder if Whoa. I'll ever know, if I'll ever experience a dream partner. I know what it's like. It was getting intense. I really do. The years go by and we look around and it seems like everyone else is more blessed, coming in. having more fun, more money, more sex, more freedom, more health, snapped. more beauty, and more laughter. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your lowest moments that you'll finally be able to see what's possible because your vision will no longer be clouded by preconceived desires because you are no longer fighting to have things your way the universe can finally give you what you deserve <laughs> Um, all right, guys, we're going to take a quick intermission. I'm going to need about a 15 to 20 minute break after that. <laughs> no! No. Well, folks, in the biz, that's what we call selling the performance. I mean, just what an absolute home run by Marcus Rothkrantz. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Okay, old wedding dress lady. Take it home. What? What? Well, Nigel, you did not disappoint. I mean, this video has got me feeling some kind of way. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I could snap a human in half with my bare hands right now. 10 out of 10 performance, I have to say, but I, you know, I just, something's bugging me. I still noticing a few audio inconsistencies here. Want to look a little deeper. Let's take, see if we can find out how they made this thing. Okay, simple Google search and we got comedian exposes Vegas health guru, Marketh Rothkrantz. Exposes? For what? Well, on January 11th, 2016, I was working as a background actor, and let me say, it was the best, most simple, carefree gig I've ever worked. It was also the most cringe-inducing and creepy. Wait, background actor? For the... Oh, wait a minute. There were roughly 800 people at this event, and it was at the beautiful Cashman Theater in Las Vegas. We did our normal ha-ha background acting gigs or silly shtick until the director walked out and gave us a lowdown on what was about to unfold. Everything the director told the audience was pretty basic. Clap here, clap there, don't talk, etc. All the normal things you'd expect to hear from a director on a movie set. So this entire thing is just some big theatrical performance with paid actors. Even the audience, even the orchestra pit are all being paid. They don't even know how to play the instruments. They're just sitting there pretending to play. The curtains opened, revealing a giant clock stuck on midnight. Fog bellowed out. The entire set was doused in blue lighting and a man who looks an awful lot like the magician crossed with Billy Ray Cyrus would come on stage and lip sync a pre-recorded speech. He didn't even, he lips, he's lip syncing this entire speech. That's why it doesn't make any sense. That's why I'm noticing the inconsistency. He's, that's why it sounds like he's sitting in an office talking into a condenser mic and adding some stadium reverb to it because that's exactly what he did. And then he went out and, oh boy, I can I cannot even imagine what made them think this was such a good idea. It's all re-recorded and they hired hundreds and hundreds of actors and rented out a beautiful theater in Vegas to try and make it seem like this unbelievable live performance. And I am just, I am shook right now. This is some, I actually like this a lot better now that I'm, I'm privy to this information. This is, this is even funnier. The universe will always make sure you are taken care of. Always. So now all I can do is spot these inconsistencies and it's, and it's hilarious. And it doesn't matter if you get money for it or not. The orchestra's what not playing in the background at all. You are making a difference in the world. You are helping make improvements in the world. Still not playing. No matter how small, as long as they are Still not playing cut to fake as audience. As and we're in the middle heart, of a song. The orchestra's playing in the middle of a song sure and they're not playing down. again. <laughs> Oh boy, that is, sorry, I could spend the next hour pointing out all of the inconsistencies I'm noticing now, uh, but that's not why we're here. 
I'm here to be motivated because it's the message that counts. Not the, not the fact that it's fake. Little side note here. Just think about how much money it probably cost to produce this thing and to hire all these actors, to rent the theater. Think of all that went into making this a reality and 31,000 views. Yikes. That's going to be a fucking yikes for me. Holy shit. <laughs> Every time they cut to the choir, they're all just swaying back and forth with a wide open static mouth. Remember, it's all a test. No matter how hard anyone tries, it's impossible to destroy love. So he's just continuing to drone on, like slowly ramping up this speech full of just all of the beautiful buzzwords that simple-minded people just eat up, right? Like, love just cannot be conquered. Oh, oh, it can't? There's a light inside of you. <gasps> There's a light in me. The clock is ticking, my friends, and it's ticking fast. To be honest, Marcus, I wish it was ticking a little faster because there's uh, five minutes left in this video and I've had about all I can take. Someone who, because of your smile, chose to live another day and ended up doing something great that saved a nation. The tiniest, most seemingly insignificant thing you do. Oh man, that audience applause dot wave really could have been integrated a little bit more naturally, Marcus. I mean, you spent all this money to produce this beautiful masterpiece and you can't even edit the audience applause in to make it sound believable. Come on, brother, step it up. Do something beautiful, no matter how small, and watch what happens. Save a little bee from drowning in a puddle of water. Watch how it makes your heart vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm done. Get to the point where you just don't care anymore about anything but love and doing good. Okay, I'm really starting to feel this culminating into what's going to be, I'm sure, an epic climax, and I am living for it. It's not out there. It's in your heart. Stop waiting and start living. Stop listening to others and start listening to your heart. Start hugging, smiling, and celebrating like there's no tomorrow because you might not be around tomorrow. If you want happiness in your life, you need to make someone else happy first. And this includes animals, plants, all living things. It's not about how much money you spend or how many people you know. It's about how powerful your heart vibrates. That's all. The rest will take care of itself. You can be in the middle of nowhere and still affect all life. Save a butterfly, whatever, just do it. No matter how small, do your I just want to point out that after almost 15 minutes of absolute rock hard, blissful motivation, he decided to end by saying, save a butterfly, whatever, just do it. No matter how small, do your best. <laughs> I feel it could have been, could have written the ending in a little better there, but I still, what a performance. Just an absolute, whew, chills. I have the chills. No matter how small, do Okay, I can't laugh anymore because this video is taken is taking it out of me. My sides are blistered right now. But just look at look at this guy in the audience right now, please. That man is definitely inspired. <laughs> This video quite honestly changed my life. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but not in the way it was intended to, um, but I just haven't laughed that hard in a very long time. And I'm in your debt, Marcus Rothkrantz. That was an absolutely, that was a roller coaster ride. And I would take, I wish I could take it again for the first time. Now I've looked at some of his other content and you know, Marcus and his girl Kara, who's the one who is in the wedding dress in this video, they're, they're, they seem like lovely people living their best lives, right? Everyone's got their thing and they're in like the vegan healthy lifestyle thing. And I'm sure they have a lot of, uh, you know, good information and they and they're just they're positive people and I think that's great so I don't want to send any shade their way I just want to make sure that we we understand we have an understanding that this is just to have some fun making some jokes right because this particular video from him that's two years old 
is uh, it's just a laugh a minute. But, you know, seems like a decent guy. We will find out, though. It, it could go both ways. I'm on the fence if Marcus is one of those guys that, like, <clears throat> sees this video and can laugh at himself and be like, yeah, he's there. That is kind of funny. I can't believe I did that. I mean, just imagine how much money I spent on that crazy production to get 30,000 views. Or it could go the other way, and he could be like the Matt, Matt Hoswitz in, like, copyright strike my video and get all butthurt about it. So, you know, time will tell. I hope he's not like that. But, you know, if you see this, Marcus... God bless you, man. Thank you for this. This was wonderful. I also don't want you thinking I'm anti-motivational speech, right? Leon's all about being motivated. I've spent my fair share of hours and evenings watching Gary Vaynerchuk videos, the realest there is, right? But this particular piece was a little bit just over-contrived for my taste. But I, you know, I love being motivated. Also, I will say there's like a large part of the demographic of people that love like the motivational stuff, like these kinds of speeches that are almost like addicted to the feeling of being motivated, right? But never actually do anything or act on any of their impulses or ideas. And then there's the small percent that do. And my only advice to anybody that is into these types of videos is to spend less time, you know, searching out being motivated and spend more time teaching yourself discipline so that you can act in spite of being unmotivated. That's just a little, just a little nugget I found in my life. I used to do this too. I used to just sit around on the computer and like can watch motivational videos all day because I wanted to do great things, right? And then finally, I realized, you know what? I'm getting nothing accomplished by feeling motivated. So why don't I just start doing stuff instead? And I think, you know, the, the difference, the difference maker for me was learning, had, you know, having the discipline to take action in spite of feeling unmotivated or downtrodden or depressed. If you can have them, you know, the discipline to, to, to do work and to get up off the couch and do shit, even when you don't feel inspired or motivated to, it goes a long way. So that's, that, that's my, I don't know what that is. That was just off the top of my head. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment down below. I appreciate your time as always. If you want to support the channel and support the Tomato Mafia, just by watching to the end of this video, you've already done that. So thank you. You want to take it a step further, you can get some merchandise. There's links in the description. You can find some fly designs over at tomatomafia.com or you can become a channel member. Lastly, if you're feeling inspired and unusually motivated because of the video we just watched, I would ask you, I would urge you, if you could, before you go, just stand up out of your chair, look at yourself in the mirror, and say to yourself, I've got this. I am worthy. I am good enough. And then drop your pants and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.